A few launches to several dozen launches in a year might already be a significant number for many private companies, but SpaceX is different. They not only aim to stop at a single or double-digit number of launches, but they also have a grand ambition for hundreds, even thousands of launches every year, especially for Starship. To achieve this, SpaceX not only needs reliable rocket hardware and supporting equipment, but also needs to optimize the legal launch process. One major bottleneck they face is waiting for launch licenses from the FAA. However, everything seems to be changing as on March 18th, the FAA considered adjusting the process of licensing for future Starship flights. This will undoubtedly be a major opportunity to accelerate SpaceX's already ambitious goals, shocking the entire space industry. So, what changes is the FAA preparing to make in their licensing, and how will this affect SpaceX and their related plans? And how did Elon react? Let's find out in today's episode of Alpha Tech. As we know, SpaceX is famous for the seemingly impossible feats they've achieved, making many incredible accomplishments that we couldn't have ever thought. A decade ago, Russian Soyuz dominated the world in terms of number of launches per year, with the U.S. trailing behind, even behind China. However, in recent years, SpaceX has been a game changer, propelling the United States to become the leading nation in terms of the number of launches. Example, 2023, SpaceX did 98 launches into orbit on Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy, and Starship, accounting for 90% of the U.S.'s launches. This figure is not only the biggest in the world, but also nearly equal to the total number of launches by the rest of the world combined. This was extraordinary. But SpaceX and Elon Musk are still pursuing an even more ambitious plan with their heavy-duty rocket Starship. There's no doubt about the scale and power of this rocket, as it's been recognized as the largest and most powerful ever built. However, what truly astonishes other companies in the industry is its capability to execute ambitions, ranging from tens to hundreds, even thousands of company launches. This quantity of flights is significant for a new rocket from a private company, but they dare to set goals, dream, and execute, something that most startup companies never even consider. Of course, reaching such a milestone isn't something SpaceX can do overnight. They have to take it one step at a time, and 2024 marks the beginning of a remarkable journey for Starship. On this journey, the presence of the government agency FAA responsible for issuing rocket launch licenses is indispensable. Typically, for each current Starship flight, SpaceX must individually apply for launch licenses for each launch. The waiting period often ranges from four to seven months, as we've seen in the past, which is not conducive to the company's rocket production philosophy, as it consumes too much time before launches. This unfolding scenario has also brought the government agency FAA under heavy criticism from the space community as the development time of Starship is deemed crucial for the United States and for the world as a whole. Fortunately, this unnecessary delay is sure not to persist much longer. Speaking at Payload Space Capital 3 event on March 18th, Kevin Coleman, FAA Deputy Associate Minister for Commercial Space Transportation, indicated that the agency wants to transition to a process where the license is valid for a portfolio of launches rather than just individual ones. This decision by the FAA represents a huge and crucial opportunity for SpaceX's launch plans for the year. If you don't recall, last month we heard high-ranking officials from the FAA boasting about SpaceX considering at least nine launches this year. We might have been somewhat skeptical then because SpaceX hadn't shown any signs to confirm this accurately. However, the answer has now been publicly revealed, and not from the FAA or SpaceX, but from Elon himself. He said, hopefully at least six more flights this year. This scenario leads us to consider the possibility of at least six launches, and if things go smoothly, SpaceX could potentially execute even more, perhaps seven or eight flights, and at most nine flights. But even if SpaceX only manages to achieve six launches in a year, it would still be a major leap forward. When the FAA can provide licenses for a portfolio of launches, SpaceX will save a considerable amount of time waiting and investigating, as previous launches have resulted in no real impact or damage to people or property. This action by the FAA is part of a larger effort to rationalize the launch licensing process in response to criticism from the industry and Congress that the FAA is moving too slowly in approving licenses under the new regulations called Part 450, a set of overly complex rules that could hinder the development of many new businesses in the aerospace industry. Coleman announced at the FAA Commercial Space Transportation Conference on February 21st that the agency would establish an Aerospace Rulemaking Committee, or SPARC, to formally gather industry input on ways to improve Part 450. 
The regulations, known as Part 450, were intended to streamline the licensing process and were developed relatively quickly in response to a provision in Space Policy Directive 2 in 2018. The industry, though, has argued that the implementation of the regulations has led to licensing delays with only a handful of companies receiving Part 450 licenses to date. It's become a key issue for Commercial Space Transportation Advisory Committee, COMSTAC, in its recent meetings. The issue also came up at a Senate hearing in October where industry officials called for improvements in Part 450. At the hearing, Bill Gerstenmeier, SpaceX's VP for Build and Flight Reliability, warned that the entire regulatory system is at risk of collapse as other launch companies shift to Part 450 licenses over the next two years. It's unknown how long this discussion will last, but if the changes to this legislation can develop in a positive direction, including the expedited and streamlined issuance of licenses, it would represent a big step forward for the FAA's operations in the rocket launch market. The FAA is fundamentally a key entity responsible for ensuring the safety and efficiency of civil aviation in the United States and international airspace. As such, they regularly work with low-altitude commercial flights or military flights. The FAA also participates in managing rocket launches, but typically on a smaller scale. However, for SpaceX, it's a new situation. Its scale and power are so big that it seems to be overkill for the FAA's capabilities. While the FAA was inclined to sit back and let the Air Force take the lead at Cape Canaveral, the rise of SpaceX and other private rocket makers has led the FAA to take a larger role than in the past. Indeed, the FAA is striving to assert itself, gaining deeper insights, transcending jurisdictional limits, and playing a significant role. The FAA is not an enthusiastic supporter of this development because they're not accustomed to this scale. The FAA may botch up launch operations. Therefore, exactly who has the right expertise is a major question. In 2021, SpaceX launched a rocket at Boca Chica in direct contravention of the FAA after a dispute over a weather model that suggested an explosion would lead to damage in nearby communities. While the flight did end with a bang, no damage occurred in the surrounding community. Still, SpaceX was grounded for two months after that incident, but not fined. Musk smartly, though, tweeted that the FAA Space Division has a fundamentally broken regulatory structure. The incident made FAA safety officials leery, and it was echoed in the aftermath of the orbital launch attempt in 2023 when predictions about debris made by SpaceX's internal models turned out to be incorrect. That led the FAA's work with other rocket companies to come to a screeching halt. Because they're concerned about the accuracy of the methods that these companies are using, why doesn't SpaceX's analysis match what actually happened? It's laughable when a licensing agency fails to investigate or takes a long time to investigate the cause of such discrepancies. But ultimately, today the FAA has made a lot of effort to improve this situation. Evidence perhaps by the significantly reduced speed of licensing and investigation for the first and second Starship launches. Though most of the progress is attributable to SpaceX's innovations, the FAA's efforts still can't be denied. Whether the FAA will indeed fulfill its promise to provide licenses for a portfolio of launches remains uncertain. But it's the hope of SpaceX as well as us rocket enthusiasts. And that's all for today's episode. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.